Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So now we have to go ahead. I've been on here for an hour and a half. If I need to stay here a little bit longer, I will. So I'm not done yet. Um, I want to go ahead and hit on this whole situation with Candace Owens. She, oh, Kris Jenner. She drugged the shit out of Kris Jenner. I was here for it, too. Yeah, I'm not the biggest Candace Owens fan, which I know she's right about some shit. I've never had a problem giving her props. You know what I'm saying? When she's right, she's right. And so she was going in on Kris Jenner. Now, there's a joke that the devil works hard. But Chris Jenner works harder. And Chris Jenner has now embraced that. Like, oh, yeah, I always laugh when people say that the devil works hard, but I work harder. I think that's cute. And of course, you would think it's cute because you are the living embodiment of somebody with a devilish mentality. So let me go ahead and show you guys what good old Candace Owens had to say about Mama Chris Jenner when it comes to all the mess. Um, if you guys don't know, over the weekend, I had talked about this, me and Lady J, we did a podcast, shout out to her, where Ray J went on a huge rant this weekend because once again, the Kardashians were using him for a storyline. They went on, I forgot whose talk show child, and Kris Jenner went to go do a lie detector test. And one of the questions was, oh, did you release the sex tape? And Kris Jenner said, no. Um, the lie detector test claimed that she was telling the truth, which is bullshit. And so Ray J got mad and he came out, basically blasted them, showed the signature, show how they plotted all of this. You know, I don't know, child, 30 years ago. OK, um, they plotted this a long time ago. They were all involved. He was involved. Kim Kardashian, the mama, the mama watched the sex tape. OK, several times to decide what angles were best, which way looked best. You, let me just play what Candace Owen has to say and I'm going to come back with the rest of my damn thoughts. OK. So let me share my screen real quick here, y'all. Just a second. Shout out to everybody in here. YouTube must have just notified y'all because literally them numbers jumped up. Okay. There are really no words that can adequately describe how positively disgusted I am by the story and what this signifies for the in terms of the world that we are in today. What this really means that a mother sat down and decided to sell her daughter's body for fame and money, and she was successful, right? But there are two, two things here that we need to remember. Not only did she do it, not only should we be completely disgusted by the idea that a mother, I just had a daughter, that a mother would sit down and watch various tapes of her daughter having sex with a boyfriend out of wedlock, and then say, let's sell this tape. This is the best one. You look the best in this tape. This will make you the most famous. Not only is that disgusting, but then that her plan worked. Kim Kardashian is a billionaire today. And she's, by the way, still selling sex. I, I now hold the opinion that Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. And I'm not going to edit this opinion. Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. Her mother is a pimp. Worse than a prostitute, Kim Kardashian is a corpse. She's a body without a soul. She is so emblematic of the society that we live in today that if you are willing to degrade yourself, if you are willing to denigrate yourself, then our society, our American society will give you more, right? How much are you willing to show us of your body? How much are you willing to give us of your daughter's body? That is the price of fame and she did it. So no, it is not an exaggeration to say uh, that Hollywood is satanic because what could possibly be more satanic than that? What could possibly represent a more incestuous, if you will, relationship than a mother viewing her daughter's body having sex and selling it? Mm. Whoo! She went in, okay? She didn't mince her words and uh, kudos to Candace for just, you know, speaking the real. Um, 
First of all, like I said, in that situation, like me and Lady J talked about, to me, there's absolutely no victims in that situation. Kim wants to keep acting. I, and I've had to check a few of Kim's little fans because I know they're tea sippers as well. You know, when y'all were saying, oh, uh, uh, Ray J leaked the sex tape and you're, you're victim shaming her tea. Let me not cuss. I'm not victim shaming her because it was all a lie. And I'm glad all this is coming out because y'all love to say that I'm victim shaming somebody. She was not, the tape wasn't leaked by Ray J. They were all in cahoots. Again, I also don't feel bad for Ray J because Ray J is the epitome of selling his soul. Okay? Folks aren't ready for that conversation. Now he wants black folks and black women and everybody to rally around him, you know, to go against the Kardashians. I think not. I think all y'all are trash for this particular situation. And I like Ray J. I think Ray J is a hardworking man, but you're no victim in this situation either. OK, you also got involved. You were also paid 12 percent. I think he said he walked away with four hundred thousand dollars. So you were just as involved in this because why you two were chasing fame. You two were trying to break away from your sister's image and become, you know, more popular than Brandy because actually Brandy has real talent. Not well. I thought Ray J had real talent and could sing until the damn verses. Remember, I was a big Ray J fan. One wish was my song. Y'all attacked me and I was like, leave me alone. He can sing. And then, you know, I got let down and found out he really couldn't sing like that. But Brandy was very, very talented. And I think that Ray J was tired of always being in her shadow. You know, when people thought about Ray J back in the day was, oh, that's Brandy's brother. Even little Kim said that in her song. That's Brandy's brother in the Wait a Minute song. And I think he was tired of that. He wanted to break away from Brandy's shadow. So he decided to, you know, participate in the sex tape. OK, and he thought he was going to get the shine. He thought he was going to be the next child. I don't know, honey. Snoop Dogg or some shit. OK, and it backfired. OK, he ended up being the villain. In the situation, he ended up being the, the person who leaked the sex tape, the bad guy. While she was able to play Karen and cry tattoo tears for the past 35 years, however long this damn tape's been out, she's been playing victim. Oh my God, and you know I wasn't, and it just leaked. And, and then so to find out they were all involved in this, none of y'all are victims, including Ray J. Ray J can be as mad as he wants. He can hoop and holler on loving hip hop. I've been watching. I've been catching up. Um, he can, you know, scream and shout. Um, but you're not a victim in this. You guys went out your way to purposely manipulate the public. Y'all went out your way to purposely manipulate us as fans. I didn't even know who the hell Kim Kardashian was, honestly. I didn't know who the hell she was. I knew Ray J. You know, we all watched it and it was just like, first of all, it was boring, um, <laughs> real, um, but you know, the fact that everything just kind of flipped around, you couldn't have told me 45 years ago when this tape, <laughs> why not you say the tape came out 30 plus years ago? I just feel like this story is so old and we're still talking about it in 2022, right? But you're going to tell me when this tape came out all those years ago that Kim and her ratchet family <clears throat> would now become billionaires. Like they were able to flip that shit and legitimize themselves. You, you, you can't make this up. She literally went from being like Paris Hilton's, you know, closet girl running behind Paris Hilton to now being a bigger star than Paris Hilton, Ray J and all these other people. And now the next step of her career is to legitimize herself even more by becoming a lawyer and doing a, a true crime podcast. You know, I just, it's just very funny. Now, the thing that's also very bothersome with this, and I find it very interesting how the mainstream media, they're very quiet about this. Okay. If this was, you know, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian caught kissing, you know, under the sycamore tree, it'd be front page news. If this was, you know, Northwest um, puts on a Balenciaga jacket and walks to, you know, Santa Monica Beach, it'd be front news. But Ray J is spilling all types of tea and confirming that Kris Jenner watched her daughter's sex tape multiple times and helped pick out the scenes. And the mainstream media is quiet. And the reason why they're quiet is because the Kardashians basically helped to run the mainstream media. Remember when Corey Gamble was caught cheating on Chris? 
I was working on the story. As I'm grabbing clips and taking screenshots and editing, I hit refresh, the whole page is gone. I said, well, damn. Just like that, gone. I said, let me not put this shit on YouTube and put on my podcast. Because she's obviously taking down videos. They, they can do everything to just clear up their image. Even now, Travis Scott, he is now creeping back into the mainstream. And what was very funny, I, I had talked about this other day on my um on Instagram, I left a comment because I don't post stuff on my Instagram for the hundredth time where people cry. I'm on there. I'm a spectator just like y'all. So a lot of times when I see this stuff on Instagram, it's my first time seeing it too. So I'm commenting as a fan shit. I don't give a fuck if it's in my name. I'm a fan too of the page. So I'm commenting. And I was like, which I wasn't realizing because uh, Kylie just dropped a new uh, makeup line for Kris Jenner. And so they're coming out and they're dancing to Goosebumps. I feel those goosebumps every time when you're around, girl. That song. And I said what they're subconsciously doing is that they're telling people that it's not okay to re-embrace Travis Scott. They're coming out in his song. This song is years old. Most people who are doing little skits and funny shit online, especially celebrities, they're doing it to either Nicki Minaj's song or one of Beyonce's song. But they're coming out to Travis Scott's song because again, they're trying to make it okay now. Like y'all can stop hating Travis. Y'all can, you know, continue to support him. Oh, Astro World is over. And of course, you know, the, the blind Kardashian Jenner fans were attacking me and I was here for it. I didn't block none of y'all because y'all are entitled to y'all's opinion, but I was here for it. That's how I read it. Y'all can read it how y'all want to. Well, that's her baby's dad. What do you expect? So what? That's her baby daddy still got a bunch of people killed at Astro World. What part of that is reaching? Now, when Travis Scott got into all that trouble, what did they do? They removed him out of every keeping up with the Kardashian shot on Hulu. They went back and re-edited everything, took all the scenes with Travis Scott out. They backed away. They all went on a hiatus. They all wrote little quick apologies and they disappeared for a while. But now that the coast is clear, Oh, we're going to come out two-stepping to goosebumps. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all allow the media to constantly manipulate y'all, and y'all go harder for this family than y'all do black folks. That's what I find funny. It was, everybody who's attacked me was black. <laughs> like, okay, well, that's your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be going so hard for this family. This family don't give a shit about y'all. They don't make their money off of y'all, and y'all go so hard for them. I just find it very disturbing that a mother sat there. Like I said, none of these people are victims. But the fact that your job as a parent is to guide your child in the right direction. And as a mother, you sat there and literally pimped your daughter out. And what's more disturbing, if y'all really think about what's more disturbing about this, this bitch was rich. She wasn't broke. This wasn't some fucking hood mom, some mom in the trailer park pimping out their child. I could at least even understand that. It don't make it right, but I could even understand that because poverty does a number to you and poverty really fucks with your mentality. So I could even understand that. This was a woman who was already rich. She married rich. Them Kardashians didn't want for shit. They've never struggled, never been through nothing. I'm talking about as far as like poverty. I'm not saying they haven't been through like, you know, just stuff that we go through as human beings, right? But as far as like, they've never wanted for nothing. They went to the best schools, ate the best food. So it just doesn't make sense. You guys understand my frustration. Like you weren't even poor. You weren't even destitute. And you pimped your daughter out because why? When you think about it, fame is a hell of a drug. In this day and age, it is more important to be famous than to even have money. Followers are now a commodity for people. They have now went from being nobody's quote unquote, even though they were living their peaceful, rich lives, to now being mega superstars at all the top fashion shows, wearing the latest clothes. They are a billion dollar empire family. Meanwhile, Brandy and Ray J are having to do versus battles <laughs> and loving hip hop and ratchet VH1 reality TV shows to keep their name in the limelight. How is that fair? Not Ray J, I don't care. But for Brandy, who actually had talent, who was, one of, who was on one of the most intriguing, funny, you know what I'm saying, shows in the 90s. 
We all watch Moesha. We had a good time. Brandy's very talented. And the fact that her name does not ring bells on the same level as a Kim Kardashian is insane. And Brandy's mama was talking about this one day on the Wendy Williams show a few years ago. And then my, okay, hold on, my page crashed. Can y'all see me? My YouTube page crashed. Okay, I'm still live. All right, good. Um, her mom was talking about this to Wendy Williams a few years ago. Y'all can look, look up the interview. Sonya was saying this, how it's messed up that this whole family came up off of the sex tape. And meanwhile, nothing has benefited her family or her kids like that. And the interesting thing is that at one point, Kim had stolen money from Brandy. And they were trying to press charges on her and everything. But they ended up just kind of like letting it go just for the fact that, you know, Kim was dating Ray J at the time and stuff like that. So I just think that it's very disturbing. Can y'all see me? Because my whole page just refreshed. Thank you, YouTube. Um, so all my super chats disappear, so I can't read them. So I'm sorry. They just, they refreshed the whole page. But I just find it very, very disturbing that a woman who was already wealthy, Okay. Remember they moved in circles with OJ and Nicole and, you know, all these rich, rich people in Brentwood. And for her, even that money and that level of comfort wasn't enough. She still needed the fame. As a parent, I don't see, I don't care if you have male children or female children. I don't want to think about my kids having sex, let alone watching them have sex. You know what I'm saying? My oldest is grown. He do what he won't do. But I don't want to see a sex tape of my oldest child and how he gets down. That is his personal business. Just like they don't want, want to see me doing shit, right? That's usually how most parents think. So I, I'm just I, like, this, what, like, what in the ancestral weird shit is this? You're literally watching your daughter get banged out on camera. And it's like, well, thank goodness she was of age. Because I wonder if she was younger, is this something that you've been preparing her for? It's very weird. And if the mother can watch her own child have sex on tape, now I'm starting to think maybe the game wasn't lying when he said he's been with these sisters and he slept with several of these sisters. Because remember before Travis Scott ever knocked up Kylie Jenner, he was dating Justine Skye and Kendall. So Travis has been with both sisters, as quiet as it's kept. People forget he had a little fling with Kendall at one point. So I, I don't know. The family is very weird. Very weird. But then again, remember when OJ Simpson was out there spilling the tea and talking about how him and, you know, Rob Kardashian, the senior, would wife swap. So... Yeah, I just I just think like it's just the whole thing is just very disgusting and very unnerving. And I'm glad that Ray J is telling his truth. But Ray J, you're no victim in this. The only reason why Ray J is upset is the fact that I feel like he doesn't have the level of fame, respect or money that the Kardashians have. And they keep continuously throwing him under the bus. And why was messy ass Kanye? <laughs> Why was he in, uh, in Ray J's live stream? People were sending me screenshots of Kanye. He was in there, you know what I'm saying, with his lab, with his damn teacup in hand, sipping slow and shit, taking notes. I'm like, look at Kanye up in here being messy. You know, so he had to learn the hard way. And now Kanye's blasting them too. You know, but the whole situation is insane. But again, I don't feel bad for Ray J. I don't think he's a victim in this because he willingly agreed. And this is why people say you need to understand the moves that you make when you're younger because they can come back to haunt you as you get older. You know, like for Ray J, he's now a father. And like he said on Love and Hip Hop, he doesn't want his daughter Googling him and, and thinking that his daughter, I mean, thinking that he doesn't want his daughter thinking he's some type of pervert who's out here leaking women's sex tapes and disrespecting women and stuff like that. So he's really trying to change the narrative now for his daughter. But the problem is he should never got involved in this mess at all. And I would have respected him more if he would have spoke out years ago and not speaking out now. Because now I feel like it's a bit too late. The mainstream media, they don't care. They're not even reporting on this story. It's really only the black blogs talking about it. 
The mainstream is not talking about this. This is not on CNN. This is not on Fox News. Let me read this super chat here. Um, Raven Black sent ninety nine ninety nine. Thank you so much, Raven. She says, hey, T, just wanted to show you some love. Also to let you know that your videos and podcasts are helping me heal from a surprise pregnancy. Oh, that unfortunately ended in a miscarriage last month. You are truly a blessing. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I was thinking surprise, like, you know, you're pregnant, you know, but everything happens for a reason. So I am really happy that my podcast and my videos are helping you, you know, kind of overcome this. And, you know, God willing, if that's what you want to be a mother and to have another baby, it will happen. So good luck. And thank you so much for coming through. I appreciate you, sis. Um, let me see here. Desi C sent a $10 super sticker. Thank you so much, Desi. Nana Nia, what's up, sis? She says, hey, sis, the crazy part is that the Car if the Kardashian clan ever falls apart from within, they will make millions playing victim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to be fine either way. And that's the thing. They are already solidified in Hollywood um, and even like in the real world as far as like entertainment, you know, in the legal world. Um People have given them so much power. Even that idiot, that that weirdo, Tyrese. Did y'all see what he did recently concerning the Kardashians? This dude is a weirdo. He decided to make a stream. And he captioned it, telling people for the first time about when I lived with Kim Kardashian and contemplated, and contemplated the S word. So everybody tunes into this bullshit. Let me show y'all this real quick. This dude is a weirdo. So everybody tunes in. He doesn't say one thing about the Kardashians. But he don't wrote on there that he's going to talk about how Kim almost led him to the brink of the S word. Let me, let me show y'all this. Right here. Telling people for the first time about when I lived with Kim Kardashian and contemplated the S word. He went on this rant for almost 15 minutes. Didn't say anything about Kim. Just talked about the other, his other racially ambiguous queen. So people started dragging him like you're using Kim Kardashian's name for clickbait. Like, are you insane? So then he tried to come back with an apology. My apologies to Kim Kardashian. I just want to apologize to Kim Kardashian because I had no idea that only 15 minutes of my video was uploaded yesterday. And a lot of y'all read that. It was like, what are you insinuating? And I did not realize that only 15 minutes of my video was posted. Go to the link in my Instagram bio right now, and you'll understand what I was trying to say. Shut up. You know, it's time for me to log off. On that note, I need to go, go back, go lay down. What? What? He's literally blaming, oh, I only thought I put up 50, only 15 minutes showed up. I thought it was going to be longer than that. That what? You literally wrote on there that you live with Kim and she pushed you to the brink of the S word. And then he turns around and tries to gaslight us. Oh, it was only 15 minutes because supposedly you had more to say. If you're really talking about Kim, it should have been said within the first three minutes of the video. You're a liar. You want to once again drag your ex-wife and go in on her. And you knew at this point, the internet does not care. We are over it. Remember you clown black women. You said you had a black queen. You did all this shit. You drug lace fronts. You did all this mess and nobody cares. Oh, he's going through a divorce. Okay. Well, his, his problem, not ours. So he knew the only way that the internet would care, because again, people have put the Kardashians on such a huge pedestal is if he trolled and clickbait using her name. 
Hanny just said, I want to tell y'all the, <laughs> the story about me and Samantha's divorce. No one would have watched. <laughs> no one would have cared, okay? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so he threw Kim's name in there because he knew people were going were to come running. And he had thousands of people viewing this stream. Because they was like, oh, my God. Tyrese almost harmed himself because of Kim. Let me grab my popcorn, let me grab my tea. And people sat there for 15 minutes while this man ranted and raved about Samantha. And then once he didn't get the reception that he thought he was gonna get, now he wants to apologize to Kim. Uh, Kim, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't know only 15 minutes were uploaded. Why are you even putting her name in this? You only wanted to talk about your ex-wife. It had nothing to do with Kim. When y'all do things like that, all you're doing is showing how powerful the Kardashians are and how much clout and fame they have when you have to use their name in an Instagram story for clickbait. And the crazy thing is, even though nobody cares about Tyrese's divorce, Tyrese is a star in his own right. Okay? Tyrese is a talented singer, actor. Like, believe in your own talents. Me, personally, I want to tune in if he just wrote a story about him and Samantha. I don't give a fuck. But he has enough fans who do care. So maybe he wouldn't have got 50,000 people watching his live. And if he would just been honest, he probably would have had maybe five to 10,000. Then appreciate those five to 10,000 people. You don't try and drag people who don't give a shit about you to come to your live to hear about this story about Kim. Because they don't care anyways. They're just there to be nosy. So again, it just shows you the power <laughs> of the Kardashians. <laughs> Tyrese is a mess. And the fact that he's apologizing and blaming the fact, only 15 minutes uploaded. But you lied, it had nothing to do with Kim. You were clickbaiting. That's all you were doing. He's a straight up mess, y'all. Let me make sure I hit up on everything I need to hit up on. I think I got all the stories I wanted to talk about. Let me make sure. Yep, I did. I did. Uh-huh. We're done. <laughs> Let me read these last super chats here. Um, let's see here. Robin Payne sent 999. She says, we are such powerful people. They need us. We don't need them. Thank you for the super chat, sis. TJ sent five says, Tyrese is giving me Malik Yoba vibe. <laughs> Poor Malik Yoba, y'all. He went through it. I ain't seen him since that big old scandal. Um, what was that, two years ago? Uh, let's see here. Kathy M says, Yo T, the shade room posted the video of Samantha falling that Tyrese posted. I'm crying. LOL, love your hair, by the way. They posted a video of Samantha falling? Uh-uh. Let me show y'all this. This was just posted seven minutes ago. He's still going in on Samantha, his black queen. Uh, he says, Samantha really thought. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, what? <laughs> no, what the hell? What in the, oh my gosh. What in the mommy water is this? One of them damn spirits don't pour her into the water. He said, Samantha really thought she pulled it off. God don't like ugly 15 blatant lies under the penalty of per perjury. Drug my name and reputation in the mud and drug on a an unexpected divorce into two years. How did he get this video? Okay, bless her heart. I know that shit hurt. Ooh, mm. them damn water spirits said, not today, bitch. <laughs> All right, on that note, you guys, I've been out here for two hours. I am out. That is crazy. That was a funny way to end the show. Thank you guys so much for coming through. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. I will see you guys again. Thank y'all so much. Bye.
If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.